So today we are making the DVD screensaver animation. Now the realistic implication of this tutorial is that you'll be able to determine when the player is idle and then potentially play some type of pause screen or maybe some cheeky animation. I thought I'd have a little fun with it and go straight to the early 2000s. Do I suggest you put this in your game? Of course not, but boy do I think it'd be funny. If you didn't already know, my name is Tez Fraser. I make game dev content on YouTube and I'm currently working on my first commercial release, Raiden Mutant. In Raiden Mutant, you play as Tori, who's searching for her kidnapped father in a Hellscape laboratory. She battles hordes of mutants and gains new abilities and weapons along the way. Wishlist it now on Steam and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So here are our goals. Make the screen appear after some specified number of times since there has been any input from the user. Make an animation that follows some boundary of the screen and changes color on boundary hit. Revoke the animation after input has been detected. Now, luckily, if we look back to my cheat code tutorial, we already have the ability to find out how long it's been since the players pressed a button. We can create a buffer, and basically when the buffer is empty, it's animation time. When an input is detected, we just add to the buffer. Now for the hard part, the animation. First and foremost, we need a white colored sprite of some kind. From my Color Spasm desktop remake, I already learned how to change the color of a sprite via code. So. That's easy enough. We just need to pick the colors we want to use. While I could completely randomize this, I think it's just better to choose four or five colors to actually show that we're looping through them. So let's grab some. If you're not already hip to coolers.co, you're about to be. It's a great place to get dope colors and awesome color palettes. I'm honestly very used to using RGB colors still, so I have a helper function to help me convert to actually use the Unity Color API. But more on that later. Now we need some objects. First one is an empty object. We'll call it screensaver. The rest of the objects are actually going to go inside side of the screensaver object and serve as children. Then we need two 2D game objects and four empty game objects. We're gonna name the first one background, the second one SS sprite for screensaver sprite. Four empty ones will be walls. So we'll do left wall, right wall, top and bottom. For your background, it can be literally whatever you want. I keep a handy one pixel sprite just to do simple things like backgrounds. So I'm just going to scale it to be the full size of the screen and then set it to black. I found this random DVD image on Google and that's what I'm gonna use as my sprite. I shrunk it down a little bit to fit the sizing of the screen and so that the bounce looks a little nicer. For the SS sprite, you need to add a rigid body 2D and a box collider 2D. Set the gravity scale to zero. From there, we're gonna create a bouncing material. Go to assets, create 2D material. Name it whatever you like. Set the bounce to one and friction to zero. Drag it onto your rigid body and box collider in the physics material slot. For the walls, you're gonna expand the scale so that they are skinny rectangles and then place them appropriately. Obviously the left and right walls need to be skinny and vertical and the top and bottom walls need to be skinny and horizontal. Note that I didn't make them edge to edge borders. I think that makes the animation look more like the real thing. Add a box collider to all the walls. Now we need three scripts, bounce script, screen saver, and wall script. Bounce script is simple. We define we define count, which holds the color it is at, a rigid body, and we define the go function that shoots the sprite towards walls. In the start function, we define the rigid body and invoke the function. And in the update, we put a checker in to make sure the sprite doesn't get stuck moving vertically or sideways. In screensaver, I basically gutted the cheat codes to only what I need, added two game objects and the last mouse coordinate. Note that buffer is an empty string anymore. It has a character. In the update, we calculate the last position of the mouse and if any key has been pressed. If there is some delta, AKA a change in the mouse position or some key has been pressed, then we add to the buffer. Then we call is buffer empty, which will start or stop our animation by activating it or not. Our last script is wall script. Here I define the RGB color function I was talking about. I got this online, so I can't take credit. I define a collision function. I then define those colors from coolers.co. I make an array of color. I get the number of the current color. I increment it and bound check so we don't overflow the array. I set the new count and the new color and bam. We're basically finished. The last thing we need to do is attach the scripts to objects. We add the wall script to the walls, we add the bounce script to the sprite, and we attach the screensaver script to basically something persistent in your scene. I always choose the main camera. And of course, we have to go to the screensaver component and add the screensaver object that holds our animation and the UI slash canvas we will be hiding. And now if you don't do anything for five seconds in the game, we get this cool retro DVD animation. So now that we're done, let's try it out. And boom, just like that, the early 2000s is back and we have recreated the DVD animation screen. There are obviously other animations you can make and other cool things you can do. I just literally got dinner with my girlfriend 
got hyper fixated on one of those uh, pay kiosks that are at said restaurant that had a bouncing animation and here we are. If you like this video, feel free to drop a like, subscribe for more original content and hit that bell so you get notes on when my next video drops. Please let me know in the comments if you use some wacky animation in your game as a result of this video. <laughs> my name is Tess Fraser and I'll see you guys in the next one.